Greetings, family. Welcome and welcome back. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing and joining the family. If you've been here before, I appreciate your love and your support. Make sure you tap that like button if the message resonates with you. Okay, so I've already cleansed the energies and I've already returned any negative energy or intentions back to sender in order to ensure that we get clear and concise messages without interruption. So let's get into it. My beautiful people, a lot of you are in a place of confusion because I had this sudden energy of like brain fog and just brain cloud and I wasn't feeling that way at all today until I tapped into the energy of the collective a lot of you are in the place of deciding what you want to do where you want to be or even who you want to be or who you want to do but um take the message how it resonates okay so I'm doing a four deck spread, okay? Or four pile spread, because it's all the same deck. We're doing past, present, future, and advice moving forward. So in the past, you were the black sheep. You were treated badly. You were treated unfairly. You were left out, laughed at made fun of okay you know how that goes that's what that's how they treat all the chosen ones <laughs> so you know that's just that's how it is they they make fun of you not realizing that you're the superstar you know you're the special one and so because of that you were damaged it tarnished you it did affect you it led to depression you are in pain emotional pain physical pain for some of you mental pain remember family this is a collective reading so if it's not fitting please do not force it to fit if it does resonate with you drop a comment and let me know that it resonates okay don't keep me in the dark all right um and if you do want to book a personal reading the link will be in the description box for you to do so anyway moving forward Due to the nature of the past situation, you were forced to go within. Hierophant upright, the hanged man upright. The Hierophant card speaks of meditation, self-reflection, insight. The hanged man upright speaks of disconnecting from the situation, from the people, from the environment, so that you can see things from a different perspective and make the right decision on which way you want to go. So after going within and doing the meditation and the self-work in the future, you're deciding to walk away. Again, remember, take it where it fits. So it could be walking away from ideologies, walking away from belief systems, walking away from people, walking away from relationships, walking away from jobs. Okay, you're packing up and you're out of there, literally or figuratively. Then we got the Ace of Staffs upright. The Ace of Staffs speaks of childbirth but it may not be childbirth in the way that you think it is if you want a baby you might just be having a baby congratulations but it may be the birth of new ideas new projects right new business ventures um new careers new ideologies new beliefs Okay, and the birds are chirp chirping, so that's confirmation. Now, in the midst of exploring this new way of life for you, however it fits, we got the three of swords in reverse, okay? So some of you are in denial. The three of swords not only speaks about emotional denial, it speaks about lack of focus or direction which is why i felt that sense of 
confusion and brain fog. You don't really know which way to go because it's like everything you thought was, wasn't. And everything you thought wasn't, was or is. And now you have to completely go in a different direction. And so, you know, of course, that leaves you feeling sad. Your feelings are hurt. You're feeling heartbroken. And you got questions. You got a lot of unanswered questions. And so a lot of times these mental and emotional ailments can manifest into physical symptoms, okay? And I'm not a doctor, but I will say that depending on psychiatric medication is simply pacifying yourself. It's just like sticking a pacifier in a baby's mouth without really knowing what's wrong with the baby, why the baby's crying or fussing, right? Because you may shut the baby up, but did you really solve the problem? So keep that in mind, okay? Take care of yourself at this time. Don't just pacify yourself. And as we know, there are a bunch of adult pacifiers, you know, drugs, alcohol, sex, uh, shopping, all the things, <laughs> all right? So don't just drown yourself in those distractions that were conveniently placed on every corner and at your convenience actually do the work because it matters okay so anyway moving forward you're feeling like a prisoner you feel like there's no way out and because of that you are searching for a way out you are setting the intention you're telling the universe and the ancestors that you're not happy and you want something new and so because of that they are showing you memories of the past you may be um hearing stories or coming across content tv shows you know whatever the, the case may be you are being brought back to the past where things were more simple. And you're like, I want that. <laughs> I want that again. But there are entities that don't want you to have that. Okay? And so they're trying to block you from going back to that place. But it's inevitable. We got the Ten of Coins upright. The Ten of Coins upright speaks of building communities, building a family unit. It speaks of unity and peace, which is what we all want, right? And this can be physical and emotional peace. Um, so there may be some type of gathering or a connection and you're finally going to get to a place where there is financial and economic stability. You're going to get to a place where you're surrounded by happiness once you build these new connections. So we got the six of coins in reverse, which speaks of envy, misdirection, and imbalance. So I'm feeling like, again, it's the same entity that doesn't want you to go back to that place of happiness. Who is this person? Let's, the devil. <laughs> the devil card upright, chow. I just cannot. Okay, so exactly that. Like, they don't want you to get to that place and that place is where you're going regardless it doesn't matter what they do so for those of you who aren't familiar with the devil card okay the devil symbolizes anger violence intimidation um sometimes death by violence pessimism evil thoughts okay black magic um it could be like a time of abuse, okay? And this could be physical, sexual, mental, or substance. We all see what's going on in the world today, okay? We're not blind. This is inevitable, okay? 
they buried us, but they didn't realize that we were seeds. And so now that we are rising, they are doing everything to instill perpetual fear into the masses. But it's not going to work. So there may be some of you who self-destruct. There may be some of you ha who have regrets, okay? The weak will not make it through. And my voice is cracking all of a sudden, okay? They don't want this message to get out. All right? Um, the devil card is also people who are seeking the power and freedom of others. Bad persons. Persons of evil intent. I can't make this up, y'all. So remember, we're still on a we're still on a future deck, okay? Um, so don't be surprised when you start to see different forms of intimidation because they don't want us to unite; they want to divide us. All right, let's clarify this. We got the chariot upright, forward movement, honey. Okay, so none of that shit is gonna work. The chariot card is absolute success, courageous conquest, problems of revenge, power, all right? And I'm going to read you word for word exactly what the pamphlet says about the chariot card. It says, you will win the war even when you lose the battle. Your actions are correct. Avoid revenge for any situation as it will only delay your success. Decide what you want and do it. Success is there. Move forward. So in other words, we're not worried about them. Do not worry about those entities. You do what you have to do. You continue to do the work on yourself and it will shine. It will reflect outward as above, so below as within so without i know y'all see that i tried to keep this reading very neutral okay and the ancestors said no <laughs> keep it real that's what you need to do keep it real let these people know what's up all right so what else we got in the near future we got the knight of swords the knight of swords is not really a favorable card when it's in reverse the Knight of Swords speaks of a lack of strategy, like not being prepared, okay? A lack of confidence um, and a false sense of security. So once again, and I think I said this in another reading, we're too distracted. <laughs> we got to get our minds right. And while working on ourselves, we need to be working on our children as well, all right? So we need to work on our emotional, our mental, and our physical health so that we can have the emotional, mental, and physical strength in order to win this battle, in order to win this war, whether it be a physical or a spiritual war. This is not a game. And so we tend to spend a lot of time focused on the wrong things, okay? Cough, cough the recent beef between Kendrick Lamar and whatever, Drake, whatever, you know, like none of that shit matters. It doesn't matter. And my ear is ringing. My right ear is ringing too. So that's confirmation. All right. So now I'm going to move on to advice. The six of staffs, the six of staffs speaks of achievements. Okay. It also speaks of like receiving important news that is beneficial to decisions that need to be made. So we can expect some type of good news concerning the decisions that we may have to make together as a collective, okay? This means that our hard work will pay off. The six of staffs is ultimate victory. So when we continue to put the work in, into ourselves, into our communities, into unifying, we will see victory. If we choose to fall victim and succumb to the distractions, we will lose. We will not only lose ourselves, but we will just lose. <laughs> like we don't know what these people are planning. Actually, let's see what they're planning. So we got the nine of coins upright, which 
In other words, it doesn't matter what they're planning. The Nine of Coins is a card of many, um, I don't want to say blessings, but favorable outcomes, okay? Achieved goals, hopes realized, obligations satisfied. So our dreams are coming true and we're going to be seeing financial gain and the realization that the powers that we thought were really are not that powerful. They were never that powerful to begin with. We got the Fool card upright, excitement, jovial madness within the Fool card, excessiveness, drunkenness. If we fall into the trap of distraction, what the outcome is going to be is the Magician in reverse and the Moon card upright. The Magician in reverse speaks of mental illness, shame, anger, and an unwillingness to act. So. <laughs> that means that a lot of people will just remain stagnant. Not everyone, but a lot of people will be stuck. They won't know which way to go because again, only the strong will continue. The moon card speaks of gossip, defamation, nosy individuals, secret truths, lies and deception. And these lies and deceptions can confuse us, okay? So watch for people who are pretending to be your friend but aren't really your friend. Watch for people who are gossiping and doing a whole lot of talking but not enough action. Those are the people that we don't want to be around. Events will become crazy. Things will get crazier. <laughs> And then we got the sun card. So the sun card speaks of material wealth, positive and solid love relationships, peace and vitality. So I'm feeling like this is exactly what will come to fruition when we stay focused. The moon card is the complete opposite of the sun card. So for the rest of you who are focused on bettering yourselves and staying on the right track and not falling into the trap of distraction, this is what's coming towards us. Absolute joy, peace, happiness, you know, seeing life as a gift, seeing the cup as half full and not half empty, right? A lot of good things coming our way and actually winning the war and the battle. Everything you touch will lead to success when you stay on your path and you continue to follow in your purpose, ultimate success. And so again, they buried you, but they didn't realize that you were seeds. They didn't realize that we were seeds. Onward and forward. That's the message I have for you guys today. I hope it makes sense to you. If this message resonates, please drop a comment. Tap that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Um, if you need anything from me, all my information will be in the description box. Guys, stay strong and stay focused, okay? That is the strategy. Stay strong and stay focused. Peace and oneness to you.